Hey guys, and on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac to the latest Mac OS. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. So it's right up here, top left hand side. We're going to click on it, and on here, we're going to see system preferences. That's where currently all our updates are at for your system itself, the Mac OS. Any other updates will be on your App Store. With older Macs, or if you guys are a little bit behind, then yes, all your updates, even for the Mac OS, will be in your app store. Anyways, let's just click on system preferences for now. And from here, we should see this. On the left hand side, we're going to see software update. Click on software update. Once we click there, it's going to show us this, whatever's available at the moment. We can click on view more and we're going to see exactly how big this is. So it's only 2.44 gigs plus 8 megabytes for pro video formats. As always, this does require a restart. And we can go ahead and down here below on the bottom right hand side, we can click on install now. However, before we do that, I do want to mention that you should have a backup of your Mac if you care about your files. That's just in case something bad happens or even if you guys would like to go back in time before this update even happened. So here's Time Machine. It's something that you guys can set up on your Mac. It's something already installed actually. So you can go ahead and set it up using an external hard drive. So you can click on backup now. However, I already did my backup, so I'm good to go. So in this case, I'm just going to click on install now. And we're going to begin the update. Click on agree. And we're going to just download it. Then it's going to require a restart. How long will this update take? Well, it's not that big. So it does depend on your internet speed after all. So if you guys have really fast internet speed, this should only take a minute or two. With slower internet speeds, sure, two gigs could take a couple of hours even. For me, it's running an okay speed. So yes, it will take about two minutes. Then it's gonna ask me to restart my Mac. So just restart it to actually apply the updates. You will see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and that would be about it for the update itself. It's just gonna restart your Mac. So don't work on anything, just do this and make sure to do that backup just in case anything bad happens along the way. Do not turn off your Mac. If you guys are running a MacBook, for example, make sure you have sufficient battery. Even if you do, I would still plug it in to some electricity just in case. Other than that, with all other Macs, just make sure they don't turn off along the way. So at this point, you could have left your Mac alone. It would have restart in just about 15 to 20 minutes. The update should have been done. It's a really small update and that's all into it. Right now, if it all restarted, you saw the Apple logo loading bar, you would be up here and it will tell you that your Mac is up to date and this is the latest update for your Mac. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.